Hey guys, you're here with Denitra, and I want to share with you um, a tutorial on how to make this box right here. Um, if you follow my blog, this was a design team project for Use It Tuesdays a challenge today, and the challenge is to use green, um, and then you have to use some hoarded items in order um, to enter the challenge. So um, my hoarded items was this trim that you see around, and then this uh, vintage button. So um, this is uh, in replica of uh, that those balsa wood boxes uh, that you can get at Michaels. I've never seen them at my Michaels, but um, they're really cute. And um, I'm going to show you how you can make one using your cardstock. Okay. Uh, the box measures uh, four, um, almost almost three inches. So four by um, almost three inches this way. So um, if you're going to make this box, I suggest to make a template. And uh, this is my template here. Uh, you're going to need a piece of cardstock that measures 6 by 9 and I've cut out using um, some black paper tray and cardstock because it's uh, very thick, okay? Now, I've already scored and cut my lines, but I'm just going to share with you where you should score and cut. So, with, um, in your Mark Storch scoring board or um, whatever you have, with uh, the 9 inch side going across the top, you're going to score at 4 inches, 5 and a half and then at eight inches, okay? And then you're gonna flip your cardstock and with the six inch side going along the top, you're gonna score at one inch on both sides. Um, you could score at one and then flip it over and then at one again, or you can just go one inch and then five inch, okay? Now, um, these little tab marks here, I made using the scoreboard, okay? So you have a piece um, this is the four inch score line that you made, but this is the nine inch side going across the top. You're going to score at one inch. Okay. So these little tabs will measure one by one by one. Okay. Um, I hope this makes sense. If you, if it doesn't make sense, it should look like, <laughs> it should look like what I'm trying to explain to you. Um, <clears throat> so up to the four inch score line, you're going to score at one, two, and three. Okay. And this is the, basically the top of the box, okay? It's the bigger portion, okay? <clears throat> and then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. So starting at the four inch mark, you'll go one inch, one inch, one inch, okay? And that's how you, how the box itself is going to curl, curl up, okay? I'm standing, trying to make this box, so, and my table's really, really low, so I hope um, my angle is right because I'm going to sit down to because I won't be able to really curl the box. Okay, so after you've done your scoring and your cutting um, so this one inch line you're going to have all these tabs and you're just going to cut all your tabs, okay? And then on the other side you're just going to cut all your tabs. Okay, and so hope you can see my score lines. I turned my lamp on. So you're going to have this smaller piece right here. This is going to be the bottom of your box. Okay, you want to go ahead and make the bottom of your box. So just um, use your sticky strip or whatever you want to use. This is just for demo purposes. I'm going to use my hot glue because it's quicker. And because it's right here. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, so make sure you score these on the inside of the box because they will interfere with you later if they're on the outside. It's just a tip. It makes it easier. Okay. okay. I'm not being that perfect. <laughs> so I want to show you guys how to make the box. Okay. And then these tabs are bigger. Okay. Right here. Oh, you're still going to put those on the inside. Again, it just helps with the fussiness for um, when you're trying to curl the top of your box. Okay. This is where sticky strips would be better. So this is what your box should look like after 
you glue just the base of the box, okay? So then you got all these little tabs, okay? These are gonna curl over, okay? You score, you cut them so that they can curl. Hopefully you can see this. Okay, and you're just gonna curl it, okay? What I like to do is I like to line the top of this part with the bottom of this part, upside down, okay? So I'm gonna line this up. Like that. Okay, and then basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna glue these tabs into place. Okay, make sure you get a good hold on this right here. Okay. Okay, that's the top of the box. I'm looking in my camera, in the laptop, so I can try to make sure that you guys can see as well. Okay. So wherever these tabs fall, that's where you're gonna glue them, okay? This makes every box pretty much different because your tabs probably aren't gonna fall in the exact same spot, okay? So uh, now you're just gonna adhere everything to, don't adhere anything to the bottom, just adhere the tabs to themselves, okay? So um, let's put this one down, okay? And you see where it's going down? Don't glue that one, okay? You're gonna glue this tab to that. So glue this back tab to the tab in front of it, okay? Hope that makes sense. So I'm gonna grab my hot glue again. So just wherever they meet is where you're gonna glue. Make sure you don't glue this to the bottom of the box. Okay. And then this tab, when I push it down, it's gonna fall right here. Add glue. And then I'm gonna push it down. Okay, and then this tab is gonna naturally just fall on top of that one. And I'm gonna add glue there. All make sure that the bottom that the top of this box matches up with the bottom of the box. Okay, you can do the same thing on the other side. So you can start from the back of the box, okay? All these tabs are up. Okay, let me show you, okay? So you're gonna push this second tab down and you're gonna glue this tab to that tab, wherever it, wherever it naturally falls on top of it, okay? You guys want me to do this over in the white card slot? Let me know, because you'll probably be able to see better. I'm using black because <clears throat> it coordinates with the pattern paper that I'm going to use on it. And then this last tab, making sure that it still is lined up with the bottom of the box. I'm going to glue that right in place wherever it falls. It's a little bit off. And your box should still open. I can do that. Okay. I'm trying to look in the in the laptop so you can see. Okay. You see how it's rounded? Super cool, right? Okay, now to cover this ugliness here, um, like here, what I did was I took another piece of cardstock some pieces somewhere. You're gonna take a piece of cardstock and you're gonna trace the outline of this box. Okay, so you get a pencil. I'm using a colored pencil so you guys can see. So um, all I'm doing is I'm just gonna trace the sides of the box. I'm gonna line it up with the edge of the cardstock. Okay, I'm gonna trace the lines, the grooves, and all that. I'm just gonna go around. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut that out. I'm gonna glue some cut up paper to it. <clears throat> and then you're gonna glue it onto the side. Okay, and that will hide the flaps, the ugliness. And 
so to hide these um, the um, seams, I guess, that's where I added my um, trim, and then just added the pattern paper on top, okay? So um, since this video is a little bit lengthy, um, I will do a second video showing you guys how to cover and um, how to cover it and um, decorate it. I'm gonna get prep that those pieces to um, go ahead and adhere to the box, okay? So um, stay tuned for the decoration of the box and um, get your paper out and try it so that you can decorate it with me when I come back, okay? Thanks for watching, bye.